everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Friday. Today we're going to be taking a look at the angelfish and their brand new fry. So this is an older clip of when the angels were fertilizing the eggs. The male, the white one with the black stripes, is fertilizing. The female is laying down the eggs. And I was so excited. I wasn't sure if they were going to bring these babies to life or were they going to eat them. So check out what we have today. These guys are absolutely adorable. I can't even count them, but there's hundreds of them. And the last time that they got there, they're very good parents. They're very good parents. And I was able to raise them. I think I had about 40 some adults. When they got to be about a little bit bigger than a quarter size, I sold a lot of them to the uh, fish store. Uh, I also brought some of them to my aquarium, Bucks County Aquarium Society. And I have some in my 120 gallon tank. I have some in my 55 gallon tank. I have a little, there's about three different generations of these angels, these breeding pair. And I have another pair of angels that are that look like they're pairing up. So I'm pretty excited and I keep introducing a new angel because I don't want them, like I want to introduce another line. So being as this was my first fish that I was able to breed, that's where I came up with my logo. I was struggling for a very long time to figure out logos and the Q was a no brainer, that's Susie Q. And then the angel fish was just perfect. Uh, so I put the angel inside it and then because I love the aquatic plants, I put plants all around it. And that's where I came up with my uh, logo. And thank you, Jadrin, for my stickers now. I have stickers with my logo on it. How exciting. That's all because of this pair. They're very territorial when there's many of them in there. But once they started pairing up, it was like the two, the two angelfish started protecting the same territory, which was... So I have never seen this pair eat their fry after they become free swimming. I've only seen them eat their fry. Now I'm not counting on that. But well, I guess I am kind of counting on that, that they don't do that again this time. But for the most part, they don't. They do when they're still eggs. I've seen them eat them right off the slate. But now that I have them, i got to feed them. I don't have live food. I've tried to create cultures and maybe that's my next project. But I use just a little pinch of either the rapashi powder or I have a little fry powder I mix up and they do fine. Sometimes I'll take a, a hard boiled egg tank water and create a little uh, yeah, and they love it. They love it. They love it. So now that they're free swimming, they already have their tails and they're swimming around and, and it's, they're starting to look for food. So it's going to be time that I start putting food in. Um, I don't have to worry about other fish in this tank attacking them because I do have some baby brine shrimp that's frozen. So I can't believe I caught this on camera. I'm so excited. So these are the parents. What they're doing is they're not eating their fry. They are capturing them in their mouth and spitting them off. It's like their way of gathering all the babies back together again. It's pretty awesome. And I put a tiny cube in there and they, they all ate that. I did try to crush up some regular flake food, like pulverize it between my fingers. I'm not sure if they ate any, but they, they were all swimming inside of it. Thanks for checking out my angel fry. I hope you enjoyed it. 